What's going on? This is Ryan with Automatic Comics, and up next I'm going to talk about about five books that I'm going to have uh, cracked out and resubmitted for grading. These are a couple of them. I'll talk about why I picked these books, kind of what defects I was looking for, and the decision behind resubmitting these five books. So stay tuned. <music> Alright, so before we get started, please remember to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. So, like I said in the intro, I've got five books that I'm going to be resubmitting uh, to get graded. I'm going to have these resubmitted to CGC for grading. And so I'm going to go over each one of these and why I decided that these are ones that I think I should resubmit, have cracked out, pressed, and resubmitted. Uh, because I've definitely had plenty of books where I thought, maybe a press could improve the grade on that book. But it's not always worth the time and money to have a book cracked out, pressed, regraded. It can be expensive, it can be very time consuming, and there's a risk that the grade doesn't go up. It could stay the same, it could even go down. It definitely happens. You can have books either get damaged during the pressing process, damaged during shipping, all kinds of things can happen, uh, or just the, the grading it couldn't go the way that you think it's going to go and you end up with a worse grade. Uh, so you do have to try to pick and choose which books that this might be uh, good for, which books are good candidates for that. Uh, so the first one here is Amazing Spider-Man number 15. And this is the first appearance of Kraven the Hunter. This is a CBCS 4.5. So I've got a couple reasons for wanting to resubmit this book. One is that I'd like to get it into a CGC case. It's in a CBCS case. It's in uh, not even one of their newer ones. It's in kind of an older one. It's got this, you can see down on the bottom, that's not actually on the book. Let's see here. That's that sticker residue that's on the, on the case itself. And so just nothing about this really presents well. That was probably, you know, some type of price sticker or something. And, and so I, I want it in a different case anyway. But then if you look closely, at this one you can see all those little wrinkles that's the kind of thing I want to look for when I think a book hasn't been pressed before now I'm not certain this is gonna get above a 4.5 I mean this is a really nice presenting book for a 4.5 but there is uh, you can see some kind of like some I don't know if I, I, won't, I don't want to call it water damage but just a little bit of what looks like browning, you know, around the edges. You can see it especially up here. And so that kind of thing I think is gonna hold the book back, uh, but I think it has a shot at a five. I think it has a shot at a five, and at a minimum, getting the, all that wrinkling and everything taken care of, getting it into a, a newer case is gonna make it present better. And uh, so, so that's a, a big plus for this book. Now, the reason that's part of the reason I picked this book. The other reason is, basically what I have in it. And so I think that's a really important thing that you need to consider when you're getting a book uh, regraded, especially if you're looking to potentially sell that book. And so this book I bought, I think last year for $700. And uh, so a steal compared to what it's going for now, current price for, for this grade, somewhere around two grand. Uh, if I have it cracked out, pressed, regraded, and say it comes back a 5.0, I think it could get somewhere in the $2,300 range. And so with this book, to get this one pressed and regraded, I estimate it's gonna cost me around $110. Uh, about $36 for the, for the cracking out and the pressing, and then about $75, I think that's the tier I'll be able to get that one into um, for, for the regrading. Uh, it, it's possible that, that CGC might up my tier and say I have to pay the 120 or whatever it is. So it's possible it could cost me a little bit more. Um, but because I only have 700 bucks in it, I, it's not a, it's not like I'm going to end up losing money if this still comes back a four or five. I'm still ahead, you know. If I if I want to sell the book, I'm still ahead. But then uh, I I now have it in a new case. It's more presentable. It's easier to sell if it's in that CGC case in a new case that's clear. Book presents better. Everything like that. So, uh, so that's that's the big reason behind this is that I think it'll cost me about 100 110 dollars or so to get this book regraded, pressed, all of that, and then I have the potential for it to go up in value about $200. Not a huge jump, but the big thing is making it more presentable and uh, so and, and just 
easier easier to sell and looks nicer when I put those books up on my shelf. Um, so, so that's the first one. Now, the second book is also Amazing Spider-Man. And this is Amazing Spider-Man number 122. And this is an 8.5. I picked this one up from, I think this was also Buzzard Brothers. I've mentioned them before on Instagram. They were doing a claim sale. And this book, they, they sold at a, a decent discount because it has this big crack here in the corner. So, you know, case is cracked. It doesn't damage the book in any way. Um, but the case the case is cracked so at a minimum if I wanted to send it in to get re-slabbed It would cost me I don't remember like 35 bucks something like that after shipping and all I know it's cheaper than that But after shipping and all that um, but uh, th The thing I noticed with this book when I got it because I was already planning on doing that And I thought maybe I would just send it in to do the re-slab um, That when you look at the back of this book let's see here, You can you can really tell that this book has not been cleaned. It's a it's a really kind of like the back looks kind of dingy, you know. You can see it a little bit along the spine, um, but that's and that's one place where you can really see that kind of stuff more obviously is on the back cover because you get a lot of white, and so you can just kind of see how this book could be could be cleaned up a lot. Yeah, there's a there's a good angle at it where you can see along the spine there. That's all dirt. It's not staining or anything. That's all dirt along that spine. And so that tells me this book definitely wasn't cleaned. So it probably also wasn't pressed. This isn't the really old CGC case, but it is an older CGC case. And then when I took a close look at the book, uh, I, I, looked at, I looked at what I thought this could come back as. You can see it's a really, really clean looking copy. I mean, it's an 8.5. An 8.5 is already gonna look nice, but I, I added up the spine ticks. Now let's see if I can get them to pop up in this light. So there you go. You can kind of see some of those little those little dents along the spine. Some of them break color, some of them don't. But when I looked at the ones that that broke color, I thought that this book could end up getting a 90 to a 92. Let's see if I can that uh, There you go. So now you can see it. See that those little dents there. Those things tell me that this book likely has not been pressed because not all of those break color some of them don't and so those are the types of ones that can that can improve the book uh, there is a small little nick in that upper corner there and so it, i don't think it's going to get above a 9.2 i think it has a shot at a 9.0 a shot at a 9.2 uh, at a minimum it's going to keep that 8.5 but I, I really think it looks better than an 8.5 uh, and so with this book i paid $400 for this book and I think right now at an 8.5 it's about about a $650 book if it hits a 9.0 to a 9.2 it's anywhere from around 840 maybe even a thousand dollars but I think more like 840 to 950 dollars so I've got 200 to 300 dollars in potential gain there this one's not gonna cost quite as much to get pressed and regraded because it's not as expensive of a book this one will probably cost about $55 for that. Now, remember, you've got to add in shipping and all that kind of thing, but that will average out to be a pretty small number per book. Um, so I think about $55 to get this one pressed, regraded, and then I have the potential of adding $200 to $300 to the value of the book, but I also get it in a new case because that'll, that's one of the things that makes this much harder to sell uh, if, I'm, if I'm trying to sell this book is that, that cracked case. because. Uh, it's just it's just a, a thing most people aren't going to want a crack case uh, they're going to want one that's that's not damaged like that uh, a lot of people will accept things like scratches but big chunks missing out of the case is usually a, a pretty big negative so i get this into a, a new case i get it potentially with a grade bump but even if i don't get a grade bump i already had about 250 dollars to play with in terms of what i paid versus what i valued the book as and so i'm still ahead uh, you know, and when I'm looking at when I'm selling a book, you've always got to kind of back out things like eBay fees because I'm normally selling on eBay. So even backing out eBay fees, I'm still ahead sending this book in and I have the potential to actually have, have a gain with that book. So, so that's, uh, that's the reason for sending in that book. Now the next one, this, this one is Iron Fist number 14. And this is the first appearance of uh, this guy right here, Sabretooth. And I just, I, I love this cover. I think it's got such 
cool colors on it. It's a great action cover. It's a great first appearance cover with him right there. And when I got this book, I was just like, because I've had a couple 9-2s. I've had a couple 9-2s before, and the other 9-2 that I've had looked like a 9-2. I thought it was maybe even, I don't even know if I would have given it a 9-2. I thought maybe it was given a strong grade <laughs> for, for what I felt it was. This one is a really, really strong 9-2. And I think it's, I thought it looked nicer than a 9.2. I mean, there's just, there's basically on the front, just about nothing wrong with this book. Uh, now, one thing you'll notice, you see up at the top there, see that little bit of wrinkling? That you will often see in the cases. That generally, from my experience, happens after it's slabbed. That is not, like if you see that and you think like, oh, that's a pressable defect, That that is, it is something that when somebody presses it, yeah, it'll it'll make that flat again, but that's something that happens in the case. It's just kind of like this waviness. It is not something that, in that from my experience, that the book was sent in like that. So don't consider that to be the pressable defect, the flaw that needs to be cleaned up. Um, now with this book, the main flaw on this book, the only reason I could, I could see that I felt that this one uh, really got that 9-2 was, if you look on the back, you can see this really light sun shadow. You see that, that shadow on the, or dust shadow, whatever you want to call it, shadow on the top, and a little one on the, on uh, this, let's see, this side too. So you can see that, that sun shadow there. And I've seen nine eights with those types of sun shadows and dust shadows. So I don't know if this is one where, where the, you know, like people say, I guess sometimes maybe, maybe that one grader specifically that saw it didn't like dust shadows. It didn't like sun shadows and decided they wanted to grade that one down. There's also a, I mean, there looks to be a little, let's see if I can get it, like a little dent along the top. You can see that right there. There's a little dent right in the middle along the top. And so that's something that could definitely be cleaned up, but I thought this was just a beautiful book. Um, I think this one has a pretty good shot at a 9.4. Uh, there, there are some, there are maybe a couple spine ticks, but I don't even really see anything that, that breaks color. It's just a, it's a beautiful copy. And so for me, uh, you know, this one's sitting at a, sitting at a nine, two, I think it has a really good shot at a nine, four. Uh, it all depends how they, how they treat that, that sun shadow in my opinion. And this is one that I, this, this book has skyrocketed over the last year, six months, eight months, um, because I paid $475 for this book. This book is now going in this grade for a thousand to 1100 in a nine, four, it's at about 1400 and nine, six, it's over 2000. And so I think I have a lot of potential gain in this book for not a lot of money, uh, because this, I believe this book falls into the modern tier for grading for, for CGC, but I still think because of the price, I'm not gonna be able to get that. It's probably gonna cost me 75 bucks uh, for, for grading. And so I think the total cost for pressing and regrading is gonna be about $100. But since I only paid 475, if I think it, it has, I think it is a extremely good chance of coming back at least at a 9.2, and I think a good chance of coming back at 9.4, possibly a 9.6. And so with that, I could have a gain of, I mean, $1,000 uh, over what it's worth right now for the cost of about 100 bucks. And even if I just get the same grade back, I I'm still way, way ahead. Then, I then I'm into the book $575 instead of $475. And so I, I think that this is another book that, that is a, a really great candidate because just from me looking at it, from me evaluating this book, it just, it looked way too clean to be a 9-2. And so I, I, my thought is that it was that is that dust shadow. So, uh, so that one is the uh, is the the next book that I'll be I'll be sending in. Now these last two are books that I think have shots at bumping up to a nine eight, and I think they are worth going for it because the jumps from nine six to nine eight are so huge. Now the first one is Forever People, number one, and this is the first full appearance of Dark Side. And this is a 9.6 white pages. Now that is the only thing that makes me a little bit nervous about sending this book in is that this is a white pages copy. They are definitely less common. I, I more often I'll see off white to white pages. I've had a few copies of this book as well. And I've, I've had two with white pages. This is the only one I have left of this book. I've sold all the other ones. And the reason I kept this one 
is because I thought this one looked so clean. Um, you know, like there's, and that's the thing, you've got to, you always got to remember that when with grading, yes, it's, it's pretty specific, you, you know, like a, a 9, 4, 9, 6, 8, 5, everything is pretty specific, but there's always going to be times that you're between grades with a book. It could be where you call it a, a strong 9-4 or, or a weak 9-4 or a strong 9-6 or weak 9-6. And I think this is a very strong 9-6, which makes me think it has a shot at coming back as a 9-8. And the, the price difference on this book from a 9-6 to a 9-8 is massive. A 9-6 right now is going for around $1,000 to $1,200. A 9-8... The, the recent sales that I've seen, or the sales I've seen that are on GoCollect are around 4,500, but I thought I heard someone mention that there was like a comic link sale that hit around eight grand. And so I, I, that one, unfortunately, because of, I've mentioned this before, the problems with comic link and getting their sales data and how they have it disappear so quickly. Uh, I can't find that sale, but I, I believe I remember hearing that one. And so even at the jump to 4,000 4, or 4,500, that is a huge, huge jump for this book. That's a $3,000 jump. And because it looks so clean to me, I, I'm not really concerned about it dropping a grade to a 9.4. Anything's possible, you know, then I would definitely be losing money if that happened. But I think the risk is worth it because I think this book just looks, I mean, it looks so clean. This, this is a scuff on the case that's not actually on the book, but this book is just, it's incredible. I mean, it's, it's extremely clean. I couldn't see anything that concerned me on the back cover it's just it's just a, an incredible book you know and so to me i think this one maybe they saw something small maybe it was sitting on the edge between that nine six and nine eight and to me it is worth sending back in to go for that nine eight because the the gain is so big there for that nine eight um so so that's the that's the fourth book now the final book here and uh, I, I wish I would have bought this one earlier, just in a 9.8, so I wouldn't have to try to go for this, but um, this is Batman Adventures number 12. And this is a 9.6, this is the first appearance of uh, Harley Quinn out of continuity, but this is the book that, that's the money book for Harley Quinn. This is the book that people really want, holds the most value for this character. And I also I think part of it is because so many of us grew up with this this cartoon and this version of Harley Quinn that I mean it's it's what most of us that are getting into collecting or have been in collecting now are, are really used to seeing and so this is another one of those cases where you can see on here it's got that waviness that I almost guarantee you is from after grading it's it's in the case after grading and so that's not where I see the flaw in this one this one I actually found where this flaw is that I think got it this 9.6. So let's see if I can get it to show up on the camera here. There you go. So see that? There is a tiny little indentation, like a finger indentation there. And I, I think that that's the only real flaw I can see on this book. Um, it, it's just, it's an incredible copy. It's a beautiful copy. You can see that waviness again on the back and that's definitely why when you crack this out, you don't want to just send it back in. You, you always want to get those pressed um, to get that kind of stuff cleaned up before they, you know, they grade it again. But I just, this, this book just looked incredible to me. And with this one, I bought this one, I think last year as well, and I paid $700. Uh, so right now in a 9.6, they're going for about $1,400, $1,450, something like that. So again, I have a lot of room with this book because I'm not really concerned about this one coming back lower than a 9.6. Even if it does, I think I'm, I'm still positive with that. I think at a 9.4, I'm still in the positive with, with this book at 700. And this is also a modern book, so it's gonna cost me a lot less to get pressed. And I believe, I, I don't know if I could slip this one through in the modern tier. I, I'm not sure if, the, if, if, if they would say, you know, it's like, oh, this is not a $400 <laughs> book. Uh, so they might, they might kick it up a tier, and so then I have to pay the $75 for it being a $1,000 book. Not sure. If it does, then it's going to cost me about 100 bucks. If it doesn't, it's going to only cost me, uh, let's see what I get, only cost me about $45, $47 to get this pressed and regraded. And for that, for the possibility of getting a 9.8, which is currently going for around $3,400 to $3,600, I mean, that's about a $2,000 jump. The cost is about 50, 60 bucks. I think that is well worth the risk. 
And since I'm only in it $700, then I have a lot of room to play with. Even if it comes back the same grade, I'm, I'm still in the positives. And so this one, like I said, the, the flaw that I, that I found on this book is just that, that little indentation right there. And that's something that can easily be cleaned up with pressing. And so it's very possible that this one was just never even pressed. I, I don't know, or I don't know if somebody did that while they were you know, putting it into the, into the case or, or what, but everything else about this book, I thought just looked super, super clean. Because the thing is with the 9.6, you can actually have quite a few spine ticks. You can have up to four spine ticks and I don't see any on this one. Now that's the important thing too. I think a lot of people, they focus way too much on just the spine. That's not the only place that there are flaws. <laughs> you know, The spine ticks are the ones that get the most, uh, people talk about the most. Um, but you, you've got to look, you've got to look everywhere. You've got to check all the edges, you know, check the corners, make sure everything looks sharp. And in this one, just to me, everything does look extremely sharp on this book. So I felt that this one was worth it for that potential for a big gain in getting, you know, this book back at a, a 9.8, which would be awesome um, because it's a little out of the price range for what I really want to pay for a 9.8 right now with that book. So if I could get one by cracking out a 9.6 and resubmitting it, uh, you know, that's it's a, it's a huge win there. So, so these are the five books that I'm going to be submitting to have cracked out, pressed, and regraded. Uh, the reasons why I'm doing that, the flaws that I saw that I think could be addressed and, and why I think this, um, that these books are, are good candidates. Also, like I said, you should definitely always look at what you have in the book because if you are spending money on cracking that book out, getting it pressed and regraded and it comes back, even if you get the bump and, you, and you're ending up in the negative, you might as well have just sold that book and, and bought the higher grade. You know, don't even bother resubmitting the book. Um, because there's there's definitely risks that go with that when you're resubmitting. So that's the other thing. Make sure you always remember there are risks with resubmitting. There's a possibility that any of these books could come back lower. Um, and that's something that you just have to accept when you're submitting them. It'll make a good video when it comes back <laughs> if, if they end up lower because then you'll see me very frustrated. Um, but uh, for now, I'm, I'm excited about those books, those five. Those are the, the ones that I have right now that I think have the best chance. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. We've got more videos over here if you'd like to watch some of my other videos and the subscription button right here if you'd like to subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it and I will see you in the next video.